and hello everybody! Welcome to Wake Up and Shake Up! And we are coming to you live from SRT! I'm so excited to be here. Once again, my name is Teacher Grace and I'm from Singapore Wolf Track. Now, it's time for us to say a big hello to each other because that's the best way to start the day. Ready? This is how I do it. Hello everybody, let's say hello, hello, hello everybody, let's say hello, hello, hello everybody, let's say hello, 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 boys and girls. Oh, I'm so excited and I really believe in the magic of greetings. And greetings is to say hello to each other. Doesn't saying greetings to your friends and family make you feel so good? I love it when someone says hello to me. I love it if someone gives me a big hug, a smile, or just a wave. Have you done all of that before? Now, a smile goes a long mile. A wave brightens the day. A hug mm, makes one's heart feel snug. And a hello means you and I, we're ready to go! Ready? Now if we're ready, I have a very important question. Who likes swimming? And making a big splash. You do? You do? You like swimming? It's okay if you don't, because today we're going swimming, but without water, so don't worry. Right, so let's do a warm-up, a swimmer's warm-up. Hmm. What do we need? Oh, we would need goggles, yes? I got my pocket here. My goggles. Ta-ta! Now take out, take out the, the goggles from your pocket. You gotta put it over your eyes, make sure it fits over your eyes, and put the strap over. Mm. Okay, good. And then, what else is in my pocket? In my big, big pocket. Ooh, a stretchy, stretchy swimming cap. Now let's put that on. Ooh, ouch. Let's put that on. Protect our hair. Lovely. Right, and we got our swimsuit on. Yes. We got our swimsuit on. All right, so before we go into the water, we need to warm up. Right? And let's start with our hands. Okay, let's take one arm out, take your left arm, and stretch it across. <clears throat> Stretch the one arm, two, three, four, and then the other arm across your body. And then we're gonna do some slight stretches. So the same left arm to the right. Ooh, can you feel the stretch in the side of your body? It means you're doing it right. You're doing a great job. And let's switch to the other side. Stretch. Feeling it? Good, you're doing it right. Okay, and we can swing. Swing our hips. Five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. And finally, we have to go for a swim. Are you ready? Now we're going to start with my favorite stroke, the freestyle. And it goes like this. One arm in front, the other one follows. One arm in front, the other falls. Swish, 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 swish. Let's go. Swish, 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 swish. Fantastic. And the second stroke, this one, I like this one too because it's an animal. And it goes ribbit, ribbit, and it's the frog style. Hands to your chest, and let's go across, across. Spread those arms across your body. And swish. Swish, swish, and swish. And finally, let's jump to the side. Show me your sides, your shoulders, right? Because we're going to do the back stroke. We're going to work those back muscles. And the arms go to the back. One, and swish, and swish, and swish, and swish, and swish. You can bang your knees as you do that. Swish, 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 swish. Oh, you little fishies. Are we ready to dive into our adventure? And today's adventure, we are going to go to Dramaland. 
Ready to go to drama land? All right. Now, so little swimmers, put your hands together, and we are going to close your eyes, take a deep breath, count three, two, one, and we're gonna dive right in and splash! Ta-da! Oh, oh! Have you all come up from the water? Where are we? We're in drama land! That's right! We're in drama land! Now, you have to look around. Every time I go to drama land, it could be a different place. I've got a nice hat on. Hmm, a farmer's hat. Oh, we're on a farm. Ah, I know where we are on this farm. There is a very interesting story. Are you ready to go on a storytelling adventure with me? Yes? Yes, let's do it together. Now move as I move and we'll do the story together. Okay? So on a farm, <clears throat> not long ago, there was a mama duck. Quack, quack, quack. And she was sitting on her nest, warming her eggs. She said, oh, how long must I wait for these eggs to hatch? How long must I wait for my babies to come? I'm sitting here all by myself and there's no one visiting me. Oh, oh well, what to do? A mama duck has to keep her eggs warm all the way till the eggs hatch. Now, boys and girls, have a think, what is Mama Duck feeling? Uh. I have the answer for you. And ta-da! She must be feeling so bored, isn't she? Just sitting on her eggs all day long with no one having chat with her and she can't go anywhere else. Hmm, sometimes I feel bored too. What do you do when you feel bored? Hmm, let's have a thing about it, okay? And the story continues. At last, the eggs start to crack. Now we're all little ducklings in eggs, okay? Let's get into an egg. Show me your egg. Yes, yes, yes. And it's beginning to crack. How? Because the little ducklings are going kick, 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 kick. Oh, they're punching, punching the egg. Boom, 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 boom. And then they're crawling out of the cracking eggs. Ah! Come out of the egg, little ones. Come out of the eggs. Ah! And they start to flap their wings and go quack, 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 quack. Oh! Mama Duck looks at all of her little ducklings and go, Oh! You're all so cute. Now, boys and girls, what? Is Mama Duck feeling right now? Hmm. Shall we see the answer? Here we go. Happy. Did anyone say happy? Yeah, she's happy because her babies are here. Ah, joy, great joy. Now that the babies have come out of their shells. Fantastic. Let's keep going with the story. So the next day, there was one more egg, a big egg, the biggest egg in the nest. It was its turn to hatch, one day late. And uh, again, uh, let's come out the egg. Crow, crow, ah, oh. oh, but out came a big baby boy bird. Now, if one may say so, this is an odd-looking little bird. This bird was much bigger than its brothers and sisters. And it's not yellow at all. It's dark gray from head to his feet. And follow me, he wobbles. Ooh, wobble, wobble, wobble when he walks. He had a really funny wobble. Now, 
if you were Mama Duck, or if you were one of the little ducklings, how would you feel? Have a think, have a think. How would you feel looking at this little grey bird wobbling about? Ready, ready, ready? Ta-da! Curious? Strange? Wow, do you feel strange? Hmm? Never mind. Uh, do you ever feel strange sometimes where you see something that you, are, you don't know anything about? That it's new? That it's fresh? Hmm. And you feel maybe a little bit scared too. That happens, right? And it's okay, it's okay to feel strange sometimes. Let's move on. So one of the yellow ducklings pointed what is that? Oh, he cannot be one of us. No, 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 no. Another one said, I have never seen such an ugly duckling. Ugh. And all the other ducklings start to quack. Ugly, quack, uh, ugly, a quack, quack, ugly, 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 quack, 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 quack. Ooh, mean, huh? So the ugly duckling. That's his name now. The ugly duckling did not know why the other ducks were yelling at him. Mama Duck came in. How could you say such a thing about your brother? Now, line up all of you, one by one. We're going to go to the lake and you will take your first swim. So off they go. Line up, children. You're all little ducklings now, lining up. Waddle, waddle, flapping those wings. Get into a line, if you can. And one by one, you're going to jump into the lake and go bloop, 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 splash. Fantastic. Now, one day, one of the yellow ducklings said to Ugly Duckling, you know what? You don't belong here. You should go. How do you think the little duckling would feel? Let's go. Oh, what is that? That is the sad emoji, isn't it? Right? Because the little duckling didn't know why they were all calling him ugly. And, they're, and what do you think happened? They all said, you would do all of us a favor if you would just leave. And all the little ducklings started to chime in. Get out, quack, get out, quack, get out, get, quack, 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 get out. <gasps> right, the sad emoji. The little duckling said to himself, he hung his head down low. I know, I am different. They are right. I should go. I should leave. So that very night, the little duckling flew over the farmyard fence. Now spread your wings, you're the little duck, waiting for the night. And he flew as he landed on the other side of the lake. Are we ready to fly from one side to the other? Flap those wings. One, two, three, and fly! Did you fly across the room from one end to the other? Well done! So the little duck, the little duckling is now at the lake. And he decided he was going to stay at the lake all by himself. And soon, time passed. The leaves on the trees turned red and then brown and started to fall. Can we do falling leaves? And again, and soon, autumn has ended and winter is upon us. So, brrr, let's shiver. It started to turn cold. Very, 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 very cold. 
In that time, the cold wind started to blow. The dark clouds made the ugly duckling feel even more sad. And see, sad, right? Shiver, keep shivering. Or confused, he was feeling confused. And alone, right? So lonely. Have you ever felt that before? Feel, feel like you're all by yourself? Maybe you need a little bit of help, right? Now, it's very important when you do feel like the little duckling does, you need to talk to somebody, okay? You need to tell them that you're feeling lonely. You need to tell them that you're feeling sad. All right? Okay. And we should continue with the story of the poor, ugly duckling. And in that moment, as he was feeling so miserable, two giant hands swept him and picked him up. Oh, 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 oh. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, you poor thing, you poor thing. Oh, so cold out here. Oh, it was a farmer. Now he held the ugly duckling close to his chest and even covered the ugly duckling with his thick wool jacket. Ooh. Now, the ugly duckling felt so warm. He has never felt more warm in his life. And for the rest of the winter, the very kind farmer took good care of the little duckling. Quack, quack, quack. How do you think the ugly duckling feels now? Have a think. He feels loved, doesn't he? He feels so glad, so glad. Yes, to be taken care of. Do you feel that too? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do when with your friends, with your family, with your teachers, you feel cared for and you feel warm and glad. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? It's one of my favorite feelings. And next up, spring soon came. Winter was gone and spring came. Now, what is spring? Spring time is when the trees become green again. Ah, and little flowers. Show me the little flowers. They start to pop, 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 They start to bloom and grow from the ground up. Now, little duckling, it's time for you to go back to your own kind. Go back to the lake and be free. So of course, the ugly duckling listened to the kind farmer and left. Now, he's back into the lake. Everybody ready? Show me your wings, your duck wings. And let's go splash into the lake. And quack, 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 quack. Splash, 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 splash. Right. And as he was being, thinking, oh, now I'm back at the lake alone by myself. Overhead, a flock of great, big, and beautiful white birds with long, beautiful necks and orange beaks and magnificent wings. They landed in the lake with a splash surrounding the ugly duckling. He's the most beautiful, beautiful birds he has ever seen. And he hung his head in shame, <gasps> covered himself. Let's do it. He covered himself with his wings. Oh no, I am different and ugly. I should go, I should go. I shouldn't be here with them. But as he did that, he looked down into the water. A big, beautiful bird with an elegant white neck and an orange beak, looked back at him. <gasps> Follow me, he flapped his wings. The big beautiful bird in the water flapped his wings right back. He poked at the water. And that's what the big white bird did as well. Ducking got it. He got it. And 
how do you think he feels right now? Uh, here we go. Amazed, full of wonder. Everybody go, wow, one, two, three, wow. He must be thinking, I am beautiful. <gasps> yes, he is. He realized that he was not a duckling anymore. Not an ugly duckling anymore. Oh, he was not that big gray bird that wobbled when he was born. He's now a big, white, beautiful swan. Hmm. And the birds around him, they say, Hello! Hello! Would you like to be friends with us? I think we'll get along just fine. And at that moment, all of them flap their wings. Now flap those wings, yes! And they took to the skies. Come join us. We're going to be great friends, one of them yelled. And so the little ugly duckling, no more, extends his wings for the very first time and takes to the skies and follows them. Right, are you working hard, beating your wings? That's right. And they say, take the lead, you're one of us now. So he flies to the front and takes the lead while his new friends flap their wings hard behind him. And he thinks to himself, who's an ugly duckling? Not I! Now all of us, we are going to do this thing called flocking. We're together as a pack of birds. We're gonna fly together. Ready and go! Someone will take the lead. Someone will be in front. It could be a teacher or it could be a brave student. Right? And everybody follow him. You can go left. Oops, you can go right. Are we working together? Are we all flying together? I can't wait to see all of you working together. Well done. And whew, we're flying into a new space. You know what? It means it's time. It's time to go back. Our time in drama land has come to an end, but don't worry, it won't be an end. So let's flap those wings. Flap those wings. Close our eyes. Take a deep breath. Three, two, one, and open them. Welcome back. Welcome back. You must be back in your school right now or you're in your own home. And you've just come back from the wonderful place I call Drama Land. Now you know we've bumped into on a great adventure with the Ugly Duckling, yes? We were on a farm and we were exploring the feelings of what the Ugly Duckling, Mama Duck, might go through. Now, can you name any of these feelings? Have a chat, you can shout it out. What are some of the feelings that you felt, right? Did you, was there, Mama Duck was happy, yes? There was a happy feeling? There was the sad feeling, yes? Right, there was a confusion, right, curious? <gasps> strange, strange, right? There was the feeling of being very lonely, very lonely, mm -hmm. right? Feeling glad, did you remember that? Do you remember feeling glad? Feeling wonder, amazed, <gasps> when he looked into his reflection. And finally, he felt confident. He felt really confident as he joined his friends. So, it's really, really important that we name our feelings, boys and girls. We all have feelings and there will be some days where we'll feel low, where we'll feel sad. There will be some days where we feel really happy and we want to share that happiness with everybody. There will be some days where we're feeling scared, feeling alone. There'll be some days where we feel brave and confident. It's so important that you name your feelings, right? And of course, we learned from the Ugly Duckling as well that it's very important to be yourself. Everyone else is taken, so please be yourself. All right. And now, 
this will come to the end of our time together. We had such a good time. But before we go, I want to teach you another song. A goodbye song, but it's only goodbye for now. A goodbye song that again talks about our feelings. Ready? So I'm gonna go. So long, farewell. I hate to say goodbye. What feeling is that? Adieu, adieu, and goodbye to all of you. Goodbye, goodbye, and let's go high. Goodbye. That was a lovely goodbye song, wasn't it? Now, don't forget that if you want to see a little bit more of Teacher Grace, make sure you get in touch with us at SRT. Also, don't forget that tomorrow you can join Teacher Kareem in the final Wake Up and Shake Up. You do not want to miss it. So one more time, everybody. So long, farewell. I hate to say goodbye. Adieu, adieu. Goodbye to all of you. You, goodbye. You, goodbye. And you, 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 goodbye. 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 And your highest note, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful day ahead. And don't forget to wake up and shake up every day. Bye.